In today's video, we will integrate C++ file into existing Android project and display its content in the activity. Alright, we have this C++ file in which this method returns the channel name. We will use this existing camera X project that we have created in the last video. The link for that will be available in, at the top right corner of the video. Let's start the integration. In the project hierarchy, click on Android and then project. And now we have to right click on app and then new directory. Name this directory as cpp. And then we have to create a new CMake list file into this directory. Create a new file. And this file name should be same as exactly like this. Else it will throw an error later on. After creating a new file, we have to add the CMake version for this one. Like so. And then after that, we have to make a project as this and name this project as this will be the channel details. Like so. And then after that, we have to add a new library. So the library will be this channel details. Add library like so. And then in this method first of all we have to add a cmake project name which is this one and then call shared and then we have to pass the name of the library which is channel details.cpp and then after that we have to add a target link library which is this one Again, we have to add the project name, CMake project name, and then after that, we have to add Android and log. After creating this CMake file, go to the build gradle and add a new block, external native build, which is external native build, and then we have to create a new block, CMake, and in this one, we have to pass the path for this file name as path for this file. So the path will be this build gradle is relative to this app directory. After that in the app directory, we have created a CPP directory. So starting with this CPP slash and then CMake lists dot txt. And then after that, we have to add a version for this CMake, which is in our case is 3.2.2.1. Hit sync. Now, after that, we have to move this channel details CPP file into the correct directory, which is this one. Click on this channel details. Click and drag this file up to the CPP directory. Hit refactor. Now after that we have to update this existing CPP file into the JNI compatible CPP file. For that one first of all replace IO stream with the JNI header like so and then we have to call this method from the main activity. So first of all we have to call the extern and then C and JNI export and the, this method will return JSTRING which is a string and then we have to call the JNI call and then after that we have to rename this method first of all call java underscore and then copy the project package name from this one here paste and replace the dot with underscore this is the package name and then we have to call the activity from where this method will be called 
which is this one main activity and then after that we have to name this method so the name of this method will be get channel details and then we need two arguments for this one the first one will be jni env jni environment and then we have j object which is an instance of this main activity so after getting the channel name from this method we have to get rid of this line first and then we have to call return this channel name to the jni environment call env then we have to call new spring utf and then the variable is channel name dot c underscore str convert this into the string now don't worry about the error it is coming because we have not added this method in the main activity so first of all load this we have to load this library which is this one static and then we have to call system dot load library and the library name should be same as that we have added to this one like so and now we have to call this method public native and the return type will be the string and the method name is get channel details like so if you can see android studio has linked this with the cpp file and this shows that it is correctly integrated into the android project if we click on this icon it will move it to this one Now we have to call this method and get the return string to display it into the main activity. From the binding, we have to call the TV channel name and then we have to set the text of this from get channel details. Like so. Let's run the application at this stage. And you can see the return string from the C++. Alright, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. See you next time.